Hello and welcome back to episode 11 of Unknown to World Known Club 5. We are back today with Everton. We have got the Carabao Cup semi-finals to play against Manchester City. It's not been long since you were last with us. We drew 1-1 with Newcastle and we lost 3-1. To Liverpool in the league. In the league that does mean we are five points off the top four as it stands which is a bit disappointing. Let's not kid ourselves. However it does mean that we are still in that battle. We are in the Champions League knockout stages against our former club Marseille and we could be on our way to Wembley for our potential first piece of silverware as Everton manager. Our lineup to try and get us there. Belgic is in goal. A back four of Godfrey, Raul, Bevis, and Jimenez. Talignani as the whole midfielder. Ravella and Larin in front of him. Gosa on the right. Moro on the left. And Tabakaru up front. Raul Moro with a corner kick sends it in. Ruben Diaz heads it away. However, Talignani is going to go and collect it. He's picked up an early yellow card, which. Isn't ideal for your holding midfielder. What a ball through to Kosa, who puts it just wide. What a goal that would have been. Foden with a corner for Manchester City. Now, the keeper's made a mistake. Olskens put it into what was basically an empty net. It could be disallowed, apparently. I'm not entirely sure why. But Belchie, it's been disallowed. <laughs> it was a handball. We've got away with that. Godfrey with a throw in. Ravella. Back to Talignani inside to Ravella. A low cross. It was a poor cross if we're being honest. Raul Moro. No, that's just Raul. Heads it back in. Godfrey. Ball in behind to Costa. Oh, good save. I thought he was offside. That's why I didn't get excited. That's really unlucky. It's really annoying now that I know it was offside as well. It was an offside. Raul Moro with the corner. It's a poor corner. Raul collects it. Back into to Gosa with the shot. But this time he was offside. Half time, it's nil nil. We've had slightly better in the first half, although not a lot has been going on in terms of big chances. We'll tell them to keep going. You never know. At the moment, we do seem to have the better of Manchester City in general. Hopefully, that will pay off by full time. Raul Moro with a corner kick sends it in to the, towards the far post. Nader Hauser heads it away, however. Talignani goes out to collect it, plays it back inside to Larin, back to Jimenez. And inside to Talignani. Tabakaru through to Ravella. We lead 1-0. Ravella with the goal. Tabakaru with the assist. 1-0 against Manchester City. What a dream start to the second half we've had. Absolute domination from the, the start of the second half. And Ravella makes it count. We lead 1-0. Tabakaru with a free kick from deep. Straight into the hands of the goalkeeper. Feel we could have started this highlight from the goalkeeper, if I'm being completely honest. Nader Howes has collected it. Godfrey does really well there just to take the ball straight off him. Kosa back to Ravella. Talignani inside to Larin. Can he find a ball forward? It was a poor ball forward. Joseph collects it. Back to Nader Hauser. Tries to go down the wing. Godfrey intercepts it. Ravella to Larin. Tabakaru. Kosa. Sends it out to the left. Raul Moro brings it down. Talignani. Ravella. Inside to Tabakaru. It might be 2-0. We've got a VAR check. That one looked very close. Let's wait before we celebrate. And it's a goal. We are 2-0 up. With an hour gone. In the first leg of the semi-final. Raul Moro to Talignani. Ravella with the lovely little switchback. It was Ruben Diaz, of all people, that played Tavakaru onside for 2-0. That will be Raul Moro's last contribution, however. He's looking very tired. Lanzalotta is going to come on in his place. Larin will also come off for Azoma in midfield. Manchester City going down to 10 men. They're making three changes in response to that. Godfrey throws the ball into Kosa. He brings it down and plays it back to Godfrey. Inside to Raul and back to Godfrey. Into the midfield. Azoma. He's got lots of space to work with here. Ball through to Lanzalotta. Oh, that should have been 
three nil. Hackett collects it just before it goes out for a corner. We're going to bring Satriano on for Cosa and then Tabakara go out to the right hand side. We're going to start passing into space as well, just to try and exploit the fact that they're down to ten men. Late free kick has been given away to Satriano. Tabakaru back tries to find Satriano, wasn't able to do so. Godfrey collects the clearance, however. Taligdani, Ravella, Satriano, Tabakaru doesn't manage to find his man. Xiao Felix plays it back to Hack. Oh, Azoma dove in there and missed the tackle. Ball into the box. Oh my goodness, what a save from Belgic. That was fantastic. So we end the first leg with a 2-0 lead against Manchester City. They're missing their left back for the second leg. What a first game we've had there. Hopefully now we can go to the Etihad Stadium and just secure our way to Wembley, where I think we would be favourites for the EFL Cup. Let's see if we can go ahead and do that. We're going to skip the FA Cup third round though. And the lineup for the second leg against Manchester City we have Ketchel in goal, a back row of Lopez, De Bruyne, Bevis and Jimenez, Miguel, Azoma and Nagel in midfield, Adley on the right, Moro on the left and Tabakaru up front. We did win our FA Cup game as well, 3-0 against Portsmouth and we'll be playing Sheffield United in the fourth round away from home to the championship team. But of course, first of all, we've got to try and see out the second leg against Manchester City. Free kick here, Raul Moro with a really poor free kick. Jao Felix plays it to Adeyemi. Nader Hauser tries to find Jao Felix again, but Bevis does really well to intercept it. Nagel back to Miguel, ball over the top towards Tabakaru, but doesn't get near him, and it's the keeper playing it out from the back. Yeremi on the right-hand side for City, bringing it forward. Can he get... Any further he can to Adeyemi and Ketchel with a big save to deny Manchester City a goal. Nearly 25 minutes in. However, there is still danger to come from the corner. Goes towards the far post and Azoma does really well to head that one away. Yeremi goes out to collect it. Azoma wins the ball back. Are we going to get a little counter-attack going on here? Oh, he's lost the ball. Yeremi <laughs> played the ball to no one. Lopez absolutely boots it towards the fans yellow card for a manchester city player as we come back to a highlight with a free kick tabakaru stood over it goes for goal and the keeper with a fantastic save what a goal that would have been from the free kick can we get something from the corner Raul Mauro is going to send it in and Xiao felix heads it away de bruyne collects it have to question why he wasn't in the box azoma to miguel nagel adley back to miguel again and this time, Miguel plays it inside to Azoma. Low shot. Oh, the keeper's... I don't know what's happened there. We're 1-0 up. The keeper has had an absolute nightmare there. It's the same fantastic strike from Azoma. I don't think it was. I think he's hit that relatively poorly. It's pretty much straight at the keeper. And he's had a little bit of a Rob Green moment. We lead 1-0 on the night. 3-0 on aggregate. Black bringing the ball forward. Raul Morrow with a fantastic tackle. Maybe not. He's getting sent off, isn't he? I mean, I mean, it looked great to me. Raul Morrow is sent off. We're going to drop Adley back into midfield. Eventually. Eventually. I do hate trying to get that position just right. So we're going to have to drop men back into midfield. Because, uh, yeah, I mean, that was far from ideal. It looked like a good tackle to me, but we're down to 10 men. Makes it a little bit harder for the rest of this game, but hopefully we'll be, we'll be okay. We have reached half-time. Still 1-0 up on the night, 3-0 up on aggregate. We're going to tell them we're doing well, but we're also going to tell Brown Morrow off for getting sent off. Only 10 minutes or so into the second half. We're going to bring Lancelotta on up front. I think he's got a better chance of holding the ball up and allowing Adley and Nagel to join him in the attack. Ketchel with a long ball forward. Azoma doesn't manage to win the header against Diaz. Understandable. However, the ball coming back at us. Adeyemi heads it in. Yeremi with the header. Bevis clears it away. Kvardiol collects it. This game seems really quick. 
But Lopez denies the ball in behind. Nagel back to De Bruyne. Lopez. And we're able to pass it around at the back here. Lopez then goes long. Lanzalotta heads it back to Azoma, who's got quite a bit of space. Miguel, however, slightly less accurate with his passing as he plays the ball. I don't know what he was doing, let's be honest. Williams plays the ball forward to Black, however, down the right-hand side. Can a ball come into the box? Bevis, oh my God. Bevis, what have you just done? Ketchel will have to be disappointed. Bevis will have to be disappointed. He's got the assist. That is one of the most shocking defensive decisions I've ever seen on this game. From Bevis of all people as well. Larin is going to come on for Azoma. And then we're going to drop these two back. To be like the two holding midfielders. 4-2-2-1. And I think we'll look at bringing somebody else on as well. But I'm not sure who quite yet. Maybe Pilbro coming on for Nagel. That's what we'll do. Corner kick. Foden sends it in to the far post. Rice. Oh, Bevis. What have you done? He's pushed Declan Rice. Bevis is single-handedly trying to knock us out of the, the AFL Cup. He's giving a penalty away. It's going to be... I think that's Adi Amy. It is. Steps up. Scores. 15 minutes to go. And Bevis is on the verge of putting us out of the EFL Cup. What is he thinking? Corner kick. Foden sends it towards the far post. Oh my god. Oh Bevis. What have you done to me? We were... We were freeing it up. It, who's that? I swear down. It's exactly okay. Vardy Alt throws the ball in. Adley sends it away. Foden. Ball through to Adi Amy. Gets it across the box. Bevis with a big block. Lanzalotta collects it. Back to Bevis. Oh God, don't give it to him. <laughs> Jimenez with the ball. Plays it short to Adley. Back to Bevis, which always makes me a bit nervous. I can hear some weird noises. I do apologise if that leaks through into the video. I've got no idea what somebody's drilling next door. That That's lovely of them. Black plays the ball to Uremi. Ball over top. Adley, oh, oh <laughs> he's missed the chance. Really late on now. We've got a throw in for... Bevis has headed it back to Ketchel. Jesus. He's giving me some nervous breakdowns in this game. Ketchel on the ball. Go goes long towards Lanzalotta. Didn't quite manage to find him. Lopez plays it back through to Lanzalotta, but Rice is covering it. Ruben ne Diaz. Lanzalotta nearly, nearly able to run in and nick that one there. Williams is on the ball now. Plays it to Black. Ball in behind towards Jeremy. Bevis plays it back to Ketchel. Heart starts pumping again as Bevis receives the ball there. <laughs> Ruben Diaz to Black. Chance for a cross here. Oh. Everton have fallen to pieces. Bevis letting his man get in front of him. Oh dear. I can't believe we've just done that. I am in absolute disbelief. I'm throwing the bottle at Jimenez. Thrashing my arms at the defence. I'm going back to Raul Moro and thrashing my arms at him again. We will be back. For the games against Marseille and Wolves in the next episode. The Champions League first knockout round, first leg. If you have enjoyed that, then you're a monster. <laughs> I'm still, I'm never, I'm not getting over this. Bevis is potentially gone in the summer. How, how is he, 
had a game that bad. You know what the worst thing is? He's had a game that bad. He literally gave them two goals. He got a 6.5. A man who calls us to not go to Wembley got a 6.5. I'm outraged. Subscribe if you're enjoying the content. And thank you very much for watching.